and wow, it's definitely going up. It's 357 now. 350, almost 360, 365. Okay, I am back. What's up guys? The tech spy here back with another video. I am basically recovered. All right, basically my fingers are healed up. I got these stitches out and if my camera would focus. Uh, all right, GH5 don't want to focus, but anyways, still like a few scuffs there. My arm is basically healed up. Um, and yeah, so looking pretty good. But yeah, the only thing is my knee. Yeah, kind of bad. I know I'm wearing mismatched socks because I ran out of socks, so yeah. But anyways guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to increase your internet speed and also save money. So this is really, really cool. I've been wanting to do this for a while and that is by changing your modem, okay? So I'm gonna be showing you guys speed tests, all that good stuff, okay? I know this video is a little bit different from what I usually upload here on the channel, but I want to switch it up and bring you guys some new content as I have been promising for so long. And I'm still gonna be uploading the tweaked apps videos and stuff like that for some time. But yeah, I just want to introduce you guys to new content and just make videos on stuff that I am interested in. So hope you guys are interested as well. Got some cool stuff coming too, like Xbox controller mods and so much more. So I am so excited, guys. All right, so I recently also got this printer over here. I'm gonna try on the light, it's kind of dark in here. All right, oh, whoa. Oh. There you go, boom, all right, boom light, okay. So this is a printer I got, it's an HP Envy. So before I had this thing, this thing was super disappointing. It's the Epson ET2650 EcoTank. It's one of those ones with like bottle on the side right here. So how does it open again? Right here, yeah. So they had like those little bottles and you fill those up or you buy new ones and just put in here. Okay, this didn't work well, it would always have issues. But yeah, okay, back to the video. All right, this printer is good, by the way. All right, if you want a printer, I recommend it for home use. But all right, so this is the current modem I currently have. It is by Netgear, and I'm currently with Xfinity on my internet. That's my internet service provider. This calculator is my dad's, okay? I don't know why I use this. But anyways, guys, so this modem right here is the one that they provided, and we basically pay, I think it's like something like $25 a month every month so why not get a faster one it will cost a little bit more yeah but in the long term you don't have to pay that 25 bucks a month and in the long term you end up saving money because of that because it's a one-time purchase all right and on top of that not only is it a one-time purchase so you save money in the long term but you will also get much better internet speeds because you have an updated modem now i did update my router as you guys can see it is right here this thing is a beast it is the asus uh, all right, this is the router I have. So AC3100, this thing's a beast. It's true, it's dual band. But the main thing about that router is that it does have beam forming, which means that usually with the Wi-Fi signal, it kind of emits like a radius of a signal, right? But with beam forming, the signal goes directly to your device, okay, directly to your devices. So it kind of is a lot better, I kind of, not, not kind of, a lot better, okay? So beam forming is really cool. Make sure next router has it. This router right here, Absolute beast. But anyways, okay, back to the actual video. I keep on getting off topic. Sorry, guys. It's been gone for so long. All right, but anyways, I got this modem right here from Micro Center. So if I go ahead and open this up, you guys can see, it is called the Surfboard. All right, so Surfboard 3.1, 10 plus gigabits per second. So you don't really don't need more than that. That's enough speed. That's more than enough. That's future proof. That is a lot. And it's actually recommended by Xfinity. So if I go over here, XC, Xfinity recommends it as well as Spectrum as others. So it could make your internet faster, pay less. I paid a total of $190. So not bad. I thought it was like 300, but it's not really that bad. But I also got this right here. It's a CAT6 cable for gigabit high performance data speed. So I'm gonna plug this into my router and my modem. All right, so it's gonna be great. All right, so I want to see by how much will my internet speeds improve if I do update the modem and get a better one. And is it worth the money? So here it is again. So with this, I do wanna mention that you guys should get the Doxis 3.1. That point one does make a difference. And yeah, so you will get a lot better speeds and it will be more future proof. So that point one, all right? Make sure you get the point one, all right? 3.1, not just 3.0. All right, so let's get with start with the unboxing. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and test out my internet speed, show you guys what I'm standing here with before the modem upgrade. And wow, okay, so far, it's doing really good. Uh, okay, wow. Whoo, baby, that's fast. Okay, 
330 megabits per second, that is crazy. Let's see what the upload is at. So right now, it's actually pretty good. Usually I see like 270, but right now, I don't know why it's so crazy. So around 11.6, so. All right, so that's for upload. So pretty good internet speeds. This I think will make it even more better and more reliable. Okay, so there's a final speed test right there. I'm gonna screenshot it and I'm gonna run another one just for good measures. So yeah, let's have that run in the background. Okay, anyways, let's get to get the unboxing of this. So let's see what we get inside here. I'm gonna need a knife. All right, so I'm not sure where my unboxing knife went. So I have this dinky little Batman one, which we'll have to do, but check this out. Whew. It's like a little battering, but anyways, this one finished too, so 327 for down and then 11.8 for up. So I'm gonna screenshot that too. I know it saves in there, but I like to screenshot it. So yeah, here we go. Oops, I almost cut myself again. Whoo, surf. So first impressions, uh, <laughs> this thing is freaking puny, okay? Look at this, okay, this is my hand, and I could literally palm it. I thought it would be bigger, but I guess it's a good thing, that's a good thing, right? So look how small it is, that's crazy, it's not gonna take up much space, I like how it looks. Oh, okay, I might have broke it, I might have broke it. But anyways, uh, we got your ports on the back right there, and uh, GH5 does not like focusing. But yeah, we got the power brick, pretty simple and we got an ethernet cable so really simple and there that is the user manual quick start game hopefully I can get to 400 megabits per second on my download speed I don't know okay but I'm excited so okay so we are back in the computer room I'm still experimenting with this vlogging style okay it feels a little uncomfortable the camera is pretty heavy I'm pretty sure most vloggers don't use a DSLR, but we're gonna make our internet feel like this Lambo over here, okay? I don't know why there's that's there, but anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, and yeah. All right, so I'm disconnecting this, and one thing that I realized is that, yes, this one's got ethernet ports, but it also has the landline ports, which this one doesn't really seem to have. It only has ethernet, it looks like, so I'm not sure if it's still gonna work if I plug into there. Maybe not, but we'll see. So it's gonna unplug everything. All right, so everything is now plugged in. The lights are now blinking. The coax cable is plugged in too. And all the lights on the front are on too now. So there's blinking. I'm pretty sure I have to contact my ISP internet service provider to let them know, hey, I got a modem. Please stop billing me every month for this lease. And uh, just, yeah, we want this new one to work so we can get better speeds too. But before we do that, oh yeah, there it is. So yeah, pretty small device. Look at the size comparison with the old one. The old one's pretty hot too because it's been running for a while. And yes, yeah, so looks more sleek too. All right. Welcome to Comcast, home of Xfinity. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. What if I could do it myself? All right, let's see. So if I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi, let's see if it just works. All right, so turning it on, and I'm looking for my internet to connect the five gigahertz one. This is 2.4, five. Hi, thank you so much for choosing Xfinity. This is April speaking. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Oh, thank you so much for asking. I am also. If you can see here that you need an assistance with your modem, is that correct? Yeah, I uh, just got a new modem, and I just wanted to mm -hmm. uh, connect it. Get it up and working. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. Don't you worry. I'm here. I'm a technical support. You've reached the correct department to assist you. I'm going to help you on activating this modem. So right now, could you please provide me the match address of your modem? It is C863. Perfect. Father, please allow me to be back just to make sure that I get it right. F5C5. Is that correct? Yep, that is correct. Um, this modem right now, is it all plugged in already? Yep, everything's plugged in. The only thing about wow. it... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the only thing about it is that uh, it doesn't have a landline port. 
if it doesn't have a telephone for it, then oh. All right, so I'm still on the phone, but I decided to cut my phone connection because I don't really use like the uh, home phone at all. It basically gets scam calls because I just use my cell phone and everyone else in the family just uses their cell phones too. So the home phone basically just gets scam calls. So I decided to cut that out. So I don't really need it. I mean, it's fine that this new modem does not have that port because again, I'm not going to be using the home phone anymore. And I guess that's why they didn't include it because many households, they don't use the home phone at all anymore. It's better just to use your cell phone. So why not save a little bit more money by just cutting out the home line? The phone. Uh, resetting the router right now. Thank you so much, Khaled. You're being very cooperative here. Yep, thanks. You too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, I just uh, unplugged it. Yep, is it okay to plug it back in? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, yep, just plugged it back in. Alright. That's great. And right now, after we reset, could you please check on your phone or anything? any device that you can try to connect to your internet if you're able to connect and then let me know, okay? Okay, yep, that'll do it. All right, thank you. Okay, that was me acting like I just got off the phone because I actually just got off the phone, but I wasn't able to record the entire conversation because that's kind of weird. But anyways, if I go on my phone now, so there you go, my internet is connected. And if I go ahead and load up, let's say Google, it's gonna refresh this, boom, there it is. So it is working and I did cut my landline, so I guess, don't even need to try that out. Everything is plugged in and everything is working. So this thing is gonna be future proof too, which means I'm gonna have it for a long time because it does have fast speeds up to 10 plus gigabits per second, which is more than enough. It's definitely future proof. I'm, I don't see myself ever having internet that quick. So that was a score before 327 megabits per second download speed and 11.8 up. So let's go ahead and see what we get now. Go. Okay, I'm super excited. Let's see what we get guys. Hopefully it's faster, but if it's not, it's gonna be definitely more reliable. I'll be um, also letting you guys know in the comments, but wow, okay, wait, look. Looks like we're, it's starting to go a little bit above. I guess it's still getting used to it. Oh wow, 329. And then upload speed is at eight, nine, and it's climbing. I guess everything still has to situate. I just switched over. So it makes sense that there's gonna be a little bit of a hiccup here and there, but for just plugging in right now, it's still doing really good and it's gonna be a lot more reliable, especially when a lot of devices are using the internet at the same time. Let's, let's say for my example, my brother is playing on the Xbox, okay, that uses a lot of bandwidth. Let's say I'm also uploading a video. Usually the internet slows down by then, but with this thing, the internet will still remain fast, which a huge plus. And in the long run, it also saves you money. Okay, but before I end this video, let's go and see if this Cat6 cable makes a difference. Okay, so gigabit high performance, and it only cost seven bucks. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. And it's literally like an ethernet cable. And so yeah, here we go. And now over to the router. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys could see this, but all right, so there it is. The cable is now plugged in, sorry for the mess of cables. I'm gonna be fixing that soon. Again, this wire is pretty small. I tried got a longer one but it's good. Oh God, That's, I'm gonna break this thing for sure. It's supposed to be like that. No, it's, not, it's just gonna keep falling. All right, cool. Okay, so all the lights seem to be on. Okay, shot up. What is it? Around the same. I really wanna see how it really impacts when it comes to like actually using the internet on a daily basis because Again, your internet speeds will change depending on how many people are currently using it. If someone, for example, watching a movie, maybe downloading a movie, or I don't know, playing video games or uploading video, but the upload speed definitely got better by one megabit per second, but I think the whole thing with this is that it's gonna be a lot more reliable. All right, what's up guys? So I actually just restarted my modem and router. So if you look over here, completely restarted this by unplugging it and then I unplugged the router, left them both unplugged for some time, and then I plugged in the modem first, and then I waited some time, about five minutes, and then I plugged in the router. So now these speed tests are even better. So if I go over here, and, uh, sorry, I need to decrease that a little bit, but let's go and open up speed test, and let's see what we get now. So I'm gonna hit go, and let's see. Sorry about the lighting in this room. I know it's a little bit weird, but okay, looks like, Whoa, 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 wait. 
It's definitely going up. It's 357 now. 350, almost 360. 365. Okay. So, yeah. Whew, okay, definitely faster. Almost 370. That is crazy. So, now let's go and check it out. Upload speed. Hopefully, it goes even higher. And I feel like the upload speed is going to be around the same, but... And it looks like 11.8. So, 368. Uh, download speed and 11.8 up so change your modem change your Wi-Fi router save some money in the long term Just keep these for a long time and you will have so much better internet speeds Anyways guys the entire process with calling and waiting too took less than an hour so I do have many more exciting videos planned again on like Xbox controller actual physical mods and stuff like that so stay tuned it's gonna be really cool I got so many videos planned so yeah also more jailbreak stuff too as well so stay tuned this is the tech spot and I'm out peace